What's up everyone, this is Ali Talkers Tech, and this video probably looks a little bit different than what you're used to. So I'm making a lot of awesome big new changes to the channel, and I'm learning a lot of cool new skills that I will be showing in the next few videos, but just give me some time. But today, we're talking about app clips for the iPhone. So if you do not know what they are, they look like this on the corner of your iPhone home screen on the app library. So let's get started with the video. This is an underrated feature that never took off on the iPhone that I think y'all should know about. Let's get started. So for those of you who do not know, App Clips was introduced on the iPhone when iOS 15 was released and it was a feature that actually never took off. It was a cool idea, but there was just not enough software development for it. So what are App Clips? An App Clip is a preview of an application that is designed to take up less space than a normal app that has one key function. So for example, if you were to have the App Clip for Shazam, it doesn't download the whole Shazam app. It just downloads one key feature and allows you to interact with it through the app format on the iPhone. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you some key features of app clips. I'll be showing you some cool applications as well that allow for app clips. There's not very many, but I'll be showing you the ones that are out there just so y'all can take a look at them. And they look different on the home screen. And on top of that, they, they interact with the iPhone very differently if you were to customize your home screen. So I will get on with that very shortly. So if you want to download an app clip, long story short, you just go to whichever website you would like. Um, for example, if you went to Shazam, you can go ahead and download the Shazam app clip, right? Now this will not download all of Shazam. This will just download the key function to Shazam your favorite song. So this is not the Shazam application. Now what's good about this is this takes up a lot less space than if you were to download the actual Shazam app. But a good example of this would be if you were to visit Panera Bread's website, for example, or Starbucks, currently the only one right now that works is Panera. If you use Panera's app clip, you don't have to download the app. All you have to do is when you're near a Panera, you could scan a QR code or what you could do is just look up Panera and then just tap on open app clip on their website. And then from there, it'll take you to a nice app clip rather than the website on a cool way to order your food so it's basically a really nice well-designed interface that lets you order your food rather than downloading the whole app and signing in and all that nonsense now what's interesting about app clips you can clearly see they look different than my other iphone apps on the iphone right most iphone apps are just a square with rounded corners whereas these app clips they are the typical app icon but they are shrunken down with a dotted pattern around it to show that is not an application it is an app clip so if you tap on the app library, you can go ahead and scroll down. You will see that when you scroll through alphabetically, at the very end, you will see the app clip icon. And this icon will indicate that these are all your app clips. Now it stinks is they are in alphabetical order, but you have to scroll all the way down to view your app clips. But you're probably never going to have that many app clips. Now, unfortunately, what stinks about app clips is if you do want to add it to the home screen, unfortunately, you cannot so just like a normal application on the iPhone, if you were in the app library, you can go ahead and drag and drop on your home screen. But if you were to drag and drop an app clip, it will not work on your home screen. So what do you do if you want to delete an app clip? Well, it's basically very similar to a normal iPhone app, but there's something you need to know. App clips, if they are not used within 30 days on your iPhone, they will automatically delete. So it is important that if you do see an app clip missing on your phone and you've never touched it, it auto deletes. Now, if you go to your iPhone settings and you scroll manage apps on your iPhone, you can see individual uh, privacy settings for your applications. The first app, I guess, app icon that is there before any of your other apps would be app clips. So you can go ahead and tap on that. And then from here, you can manage your app clips. You can just do remove app clip or you could do remove all app clips. You could just delete them all at once. So there are no other settings, and the only thing you can do inside the settings menu is either download the app from the app store inside of settings, or you could just remove it entirely. So there's no real settings you can do. Um, as far as I've seen, there's no way to extend that 30 days. What if you want it on your iPhone longer? So if the app were to delete within 30 days, you could just go to your settings, and then from here, re-download it. So, Pretty cool though, underrated iPhone feature that never took off. It's sort of, I believe, like Siri shortcuts. The first year Siri shortcuts existed, it never really um, had a lot of optimization and use for it. Whereas when iOS 13 was released, that was the second update with Siri shortcuts, that really took it to the next level. So I do think that App Clips is an underrated feature that could be totally used by developers 
next year and for iOS 16. So overall, pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.